Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So it has been a long time since I did a makeup video and I thought I would just sit down, get ready using a lot of the new makeup and products that I have and chat with you guys about some of the past jobs that I have. So if you guys would be interested in hearing about my experience working at Aritzia, what I learned from that, working in real estate, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I need to do my brows. So we are gonna use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. This is in the color black brown. I love this. It also comes with a little brush, which this is actually one of my favorite brushes ever that I've been using so much. So we're going to go ahead and speed through my brows because I'm not good at talking on camera while I'm doing my brows. I have a little outline here of the past jobs that I have. My first job, I got recruited to work at Abercrombie & Fitch when I was 16. And then at the same time, I had just applied and gotten a job at Tivana. So I was working two jobs and those were my first jobs ever. And if you guys don't know what Tivana is, it's kind of like a cute little tea shop that got bought by Starbucks. I was like one of those girls in the aprons in the mall and I'd be like, would you like a tea sample? Would you like to try some teas? I didn't have that job for a really long time, but I met a lot of really cute guys when I was working there. So if you're single, working a job like that was really, really fun for me. It was my first ever job, so it was fairly easy and a good learning experience. My next job that I had after that was Joey and we call it like Hoey's. And it's like a bougie restaurant in Washington. I actually got that job because Brandon and I I went on I think it was a birthday dinner no him and I were just having dinner randomly at this restaurant he lived in Bellevue at the time when we were dating and so I always would hang out with him in Bellevue one of the managers came up and was like, you guys are so beautiful, we'd love to offer you a job. And to this day, Brandon's convinced that they only offered him the job because they offered me the job. I ended up working there and it's kind of like a high-end bar slash restaurant and a lot of the Seahawks football players would come in there all the time. Slash, this foundation is really light for me. I'm using the It Cosmetics brush and I love this brush. I worked there for like a year and this was when I was like 19 turning 20. I remember I was underage and I couldn't work in the actual bar area. I met a lot of my like Filipino guy friends that I hang out when I go back home to Seattle. I met them at Joey and they were actually the line cooks there. I feel like that job really gave me a lot of confidence because the restaurant was known for having pretty girls like there's no other requirement to working there except being pretty all the other girls that i worked with were really really pretty there'd be guys that would come in all the time just for the sake of like being served <laughs> by a pretty girl a lot of the guy friends that i made through there were the line cooks and they are like my lifelong friends people that i'm still friends with to this day i ended up living with them working in a restaurant really taught me how to deal with like a fast place fast-paced workspace. <laughs> wow, that's a tongue twister. I feel like every other job that I had after working at a restaurant was easy to me. A lot of the girls that I met were like friends on Instagram, but they're not like my good lifelong friends, you know what I mean? Working a restaurant job, I feel like everyone needs to do that, especially when you're younger. Like it's such a good thing to put on your resume and I learned so much working there. Junior year of college, I was broke AF as college kids are and I remember needing a job so bad. So through UW, that's where I went to school. So through the University of Washington, I got a job as a cafe barista. And so I made coffee at one of the like store campus locations. That is definitely one of my most favorite jobs of all time because when you make coffee for people, people are usually like cranky and grumpy, they're tired, but as soon as you hand them, they're like, hot fresh out of the oven muffin and hot cup of coffee they're instantly so much happier they'll stay and chat with you guys that was a similar experience to working in a restaurant where it was just very fast paced it was crazy i was always sweating all the time so i worked as an intern for two summers shortly after that i went back to school and then got a job as a barista in like the winter time i had been working at that cafe for about six months and then brand and i had broken up and i just remember being so heartbroken at the time I was living with him and so so much of my life was really dependent on that relationship. I did a whole get ready with me so if you guys are Instagram, Instagram. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about the breakup, how I dealt with it, I would highly recommend checking out that video. I still get like DMs to this day about girls that really really enjoyed that video that found it really helpful. Brand and I had broken up and we had dated for about three years and so that was really hard on me. I had to move out and in order to financially support my 
myself I had to get another job so I applied at that same real estate job that I had previously interned for and I applied to be a front desk receptionist I got the job and started the following week so I worked those two jobs for a while and that real estate job I only worked every single Friday because I was kind of training and I needed another way to kind of keep me busy and so I had applied to work at Aritzia and I actually was able to get the job really easily because I knew a girl that worked there and she helped like referred me and so I pretty much automatically got the job. They really liked that I worked at a restaurant and I had like a lot of experience working in a like stressful environment if you will and then they also really liked that I was fashionable so obviously you want to show up wearing their clothing if you have it if not wear clothes that are very similar to their branding i think i worked there for about a year on and off i took a break to go um, back to school i remember i had worked at aritzia while i was working part-time at that real estate firm and also working part-time in a cafe so all while i was going to the university of washington and so there was a point in time where i was working three jobs I had just moved into a new place and that was just like one way to financially support myself. It was also like a way to keep me busy while I was going through a breakup. Let me just tell you that working retail sucks. It like drains the life out of you. I remember just like dreading the days that I had work. I remember being like kind of fashionable, but I wasn't really too secure in my like sense of style or whatever. And I, at this time, I haven't even had my YouTube channel or anything like that yet. But I remember it was very intimidating because we had to meet certain sales goals every single day. Depending on how new you are, you have a sales goal that you had to me and since I was one of the newer part-time people I didn't have as big of a sales goal as girls that had been there for years and years and years and worked there full-time so when I first started working there I had to learn really quickly how to outfit people based on the stuff that they liked not only my style but it had to be things that other people the way that they dress and so that job really taught me how to be really outgoing i was able to outfit people really really quickly it was like a very high stress job but very very rewarding actually one of the girls that i worked with at aritzia was my best friend for the longest time but we had a bit of a falling out and now we're just like friends you know what i mean a lot of the girls that i met there were very catty and i'm only friends with like one or two of the girls i feel like it's very hit and miss who you meet obviously any job this applies to but from my experience the girls that work in retail are usually not my type of like people that I'm friends with forever. But that was a really good job and I loved working there. The discount, we got 40% off while I worked there. So it was a really, really good discount. And that's the reason why like so much of my closet is from Aritzia. While I was in the middle of working at Aritzia, Brand and I had gotten back together. We kind of slowly started dating and seeing each other again. And then I graduated college. And so I was done with my coffee barista job and I started full-time at this real estate firm. I remember I was working at the real estate firm and Aritzia part-time for a while. My real estate job was a nine to five and working retail while working a nine to five is like the most exhausting thing because I would have days where I'd come in to work at 8 a.m. work until 5 p.m. and then I'd start at Aritzia at 6 p.m. and then close so I wouldn't be home until like midnight and then I'd repeat again and so I was just very exhausted. Brand and I were like slowly getting back together but I was still living at my own place and so I obviously had to pay for that and my full-time job wasn't paying enough at the time. Eventually quit Aritzia. The office that I worked in was like the number one office in the whole entire company so it was very very busy and I met a lot of really like successful real estate agents and so that really inspired me to really want to go into real estate and so while i was working front desk one of the agents in the office she was like the top one percent in the nation she was very very successful she came up to me and offered me a job to work for her as her assistant and so i left being front desk at this office to becoming her assistant i worked under her for i think just under a year okay i just wiped off my the foundation on my lips also i didn't realize how pale i look so i'm gonna go ahead and and bronze up my face really quick. I've only told a select number of my friends, but I feel like it's kind of important to talk about. But while I worked for this lady, I actually got fired and 
from all the other jobs that I had, I had a lot of jobs. And so I kind of just talked to you guys about like the important jobs that I had. Every single one of those jobs, I quit myself and I had never ever gotten fired. I don't really talk about it because honestly, it's kind of embarrassing, but I feel like it's kind of an important thing to talk about. And the reason why it didn't work out is because her and I are very different. And I feel like when you're an assistant to someone like you your personalities really have to align and the way that you guys communicate has to be very similar it just wasn't the best partnership i don't think and like her way of communicating was totally different than my way of understanding things. I think she's a really great person and her and I still have a really great relationship to this day. I remember being let go was the most... I took a really big hit from it because I was thinking like, I'm not good enough as a person. Now looking back, it's just because it wasn't a personal thing. It wasn't because she doesn't like me, but it just was the way that we both worked together didn't really work out. It's important to come to terms with that. Don't be embarrassed because it happens to everyone. So being let go of that job was actually such like a blessing in disguise because it just really helped me to get into real estate quicker than I maybe would have wanted to. And so I had my license already and so I became an agent at that same office and I think it was really helpful that me and my old boss had a really, really good relationship because she ended up helping me out a lot. A lot of people think that working in real estate is just easy money. You sell a house, you make a huge chunk of commission. All you have to do is just talk to people, but it's not that easy. I feel like it's not really talking about working real estate is one of the toughest jobs I have ever had because you're your own boss and so you really need to keep yourself accountable and I feel like this applies to any job but you have to be really disciplined and accountable there's no start and end time so when I was my own boss and I was an agent I could go into the office whenever I wanted we had sales meetings at my office like every few weeks and so I would go in and attend the meetings kind of learn about the contracts and stuff like that um, I would also sit at my desk and kind of just cold call people I would attend open houses I would hold open houses one thing that people don't really talk about as far as real estate is you need to have a lot of money saved up you're not getting paid until you sell your first house and not every single person is gonna want to trust a brand new agent with selling or buying a home so it kind of takes a while to build that experience and so you're working a lot of hours without pay so I think it was a really good thing that I had worked so many jobs in the past and I had a lot of money saved up when I first started I ended up getting a listing really early on I had to pay for a photographer to come and take photos of the house you had to buy the signs and you have to buy all of your business cards and all of your marketing materials the flyers brochures all of that i paid almost a thousand dollars and obviously you have the fees that you pay to your office as well i paid a monthly fee to my office part of your commission goes to your office as well and so you end up paying a lot of fees and so it takes a lot of time and commitment to build your database too and find clients that are willing to trust you with the sale of their home and at the same time you have to be willing to put in the work you just have to be really disciplined and put in the time and effort into your business and then it will pay off eventually so i would say it takes like one to two years to build up your business going to classes holding open houses in order to finally have like a good customer database and start making money from it while i was working real estate i honestly was not making a lot of money because my database was so weak i was just starting out and a lot of the money i had made was actually helping a lot of the agents out in the office and helping to hold their open houses and stuff like that. I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow primer by Terry Mare. So yeah, those are all the jobs that I had. I feel like this video is gonna be five million years long. All the jobs that I had, I feel like really taught me to be who I am today. That and like my breakup with Brandon, I learned so much from that. I also have a couple other get ready with me's on like toxic friendships. I really like having these sit down talk through videos, you know, because I feel like a lot of these things aren't really talked about. Also, by the way, I'm using this new Ilia eyeshadow palette and this is in the cool nude. And so I'm just going to use this brown for transition color. I feel like I learned so much from all of those jobs. It just makes me feel all the more powerful, like 
knowing that whatever I set my mind to, I can do it. And now doing what I do full time, like YouTube is not easy. People think it's all fun and games, but actually you don't make that much money when you start out. And it's very similar to real estate, how it's like, it's pretty much having your own business and when you first start out you're not making very much money you have to be really disciplined and put in a lot of hours and pretty much do stuff for free all the time i have a couple videos up on my igtv i have some podcasts that i will link down below where i just kind of talk about like what it's like being an influencer how i really built this business up and stuff like that if you guys are interested in like a day in my life vlog i can definitely do a video on that i knew when i started my youtube channel that i was gonna work really hard at it and like failure was not an option yeah you just have to be really disciplined in anything that you want to do and if you are disciplined and you don't want to accept failure as an option you will succeed in anything that you do if you want to be a real estate agent if you want to uh, tell your parents that you don't want to be an engineer you want to be a makeup artist on youtube do it like you can be very successful if you set your mind to it you put in the time and you're okay with having failures from time to time you know what i mean the reason why i actually started my youtube channel is because i was let go from that job and i ended up having a lot of free time and that's why i started my youtube channel and so i think about it all the time about like if i hadn't been let go how different my life would have been okay next i'm gonna go in with these new wonder swipe by rimmel and these are actually two in one liquid liners to eyeshadow so i quickly want to show you guys pretty much swipe it as an eyeliner then you rub it in and it becomes an eyeshadow like look how pretty isn't that crazy and so this color is it doesn't say it, but it's a brown one so wow so that is what it looks like it looks very very pretty but you really have to blend quickly with it so okay so i actually want to make it a little bit more warm colored so i'm going to go in with this warm nude palette from Ilia and use this color right here and then i think i'm going to try the orange color Oh wow, that is so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so on my eyes, I am using these lashes from Luxie Lashes. One of my followers actually sent me this and it is her brand. So I actually have a discount code that you guys can use. It's just Christine Lee with four E's. I'll go ahead and leave it down in the description box as well. So while those are drying, I'm gonna go and apply some mascara. I'm using the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara. This is from Japan. I love this. It is like one of the best waterproof mascaras I've ever tried. And then next, I'm trying out this Clove and Hollow Mascara. This is a clean beauty brand. I've talked about their brand before. First impressions, I actually really, really like that mascara. It really did a good job of thickening up my lashes, and this is what my eyelashes look like. Um, ignore Herbert right there. He's making a little appearance. Okay, so that is what the lashes look like. We're gonna give them a second to dry and next I'm gonna go in with this Fit Me Powder in 310. Whenever I have my under eyes look super, super bright, one trick that I love to do is to go in with a foundation powder and go all over my face and it really helps to even out my skin a little bit more. It's getting a little bit cooler here in California. Actually, it's still 80 or 90 degrees today, so it's still very warm, but now it kind of feels like fall. So I've been loving the matte makeup look. And then I'm going to set my face with my Catrice HD Performance Setting Spray. I have not used this before, but I love their other illuminating setting sprays. I'm lining with my MAC Spice Lip Liner. Lip Gloss from Rimmel. And that is the finished look. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Highly recommend you to work a lot of different jobs. And I think it also taught me so much. Like it made me a really well-rounded employee. Aritzia was definitely a fun job for me to have. And I don't regret working there. But my favorite job that I ever had was working at a barista. And I think the most difficult job that I ever had was working in the real estate industry. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.